Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I am so excited today. It has been a fabulous week. Not only did my youngest son and his wife come home for a few days from Virginia to visit me that I've not seen in a year and a half due to COVID, but not only that, it was also during our strawberry season. And so last year, I made a fabulous strawberry pie. You can look back and see that. I'll link it in the bio. And I was able to make that pie. Actually, I made two of those pies for my kids this year. And we had some friends come over and we shared with them as well. And so I have had so many strawberries coming out of my garden that I am actually going to get to make something I've been wanting to make for a long time with my very own Back to Eden strawberries. So today we are making an old-fashioned recipe of simple strawberry preserves. Now with this recipe you simply have two ingredients and that is the way I like to roll. I don't like adding pectins to any of my jams or my preserves or anything. I like having the real fruit, having a little sugar, and sometimes I really don't like all the sugar that a lot of these recipes call for, but I don't like adding anything else. I don't want to add anything that isn't real, anything that's highly processed, anything that is genetically modified. I don't want to add anything that I don't have to. So today, we're simply going to use two ingredients, fresh homegrown strawberries and sugar. This recipe actually calls for nine cups of strawberries and four cups of sugar. But I had a few extra strawberries because it was overflowing out there and I'm going to be picking again tonight or tomorrow so I am doing a little extra I'm actually doing 12 cups of my strawberries and I'll do four or five cups of sugar let's get started so here in this pot I already have my canning jars in there and I'm using a smorgasbord of sizes because um, I'm making a larger batch and I want to make sure I have enough room for a single row in my in my canner. So I'm doing some uh, pint jars and some of the half pint, the cute little jelly jars. Uh, but just in case I have a tiny bit left over, I'm also putting in some of the really tiny jars because I don't want any of this going to waste. But we are going to get canning right now. Don't these look gorgeous? They are so juicy and so sweet. I'm so excited. So this is a four cup measure here and I kind of did a little heaping. So that's what we're going to use here. We'll turn on our heat to about a medium high. It'll take just a minute for this to heat up and all that sugar will completely melt and our strawberries will start to break down. And we're really just going to cook this to our desired consistency. I like my jam to be a little on the thick side. I don't want it running off of my toast. You want to keep stirring this pretty often because you just don't want it to stick to the bottom. But once it starts to boil, I am going to reduce the heat to medium. I can see the strawberries are starting to break down just a little. So just going to keep going because they'll mash up really well shortly. They'll begin to just kind of fall apart and they'll soak up those juices and it's going to be beautiful. Let me tell you, the smell in here is truly amazing. It's one of those things you just can't truly bottle that scent. 
can see here the strawberries have broken down wonderfully. I have not used an immersion blender or anything like that, but you can if you want to, if you want it really smooth. I don't mind mine being just a tiny bit chunky. I like to see and taste little chunks of strawberries when I eat mine, so I'm not going to do that at all. I'm just going to wait until this gets a little thicker and we can check that consistency. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll put my little candy thermometer in here and we're at 219 degrees. I really would like for it to reach 220 and then we'll turn off the heat and put these in our jars. Okay, so we have reached our temperature or our desired consistency that we're wanting. So I am going to turn down the heat and get all of my jars set up and we'll start filling our jars. Next, we want to clean these rims really good so that nothing keeps this from sealing. Make sure you have warmed up those rings so that the rubber is nice and soft. Then we're going to place all of our rings. Finger tight. Now we're ready to put these jars in our water bath that is boiling and ready. And just going to lower it slowly and gently. Make sure you have at least an inch of water over your tallest jars. Since it's already boiling, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. And wait. Okay, so our timer is off. And now I'm just going to turn off the heat. I'll take off that lid, let everything settle before we ever bring those jars out. Do you hear the popping? I love that sound. Two more to go. And that is really it, y'all. They look beautiful. Just two more to go and we're home free.
I hope you enjoyed today's video, y'all. I hope you are harvesting loads of strawberries this year, and I hope you're enjoying your first harvest. It's probably your first harvest of the season. Strawberries typically are. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying it, y'all, and just have a wonderful week. And if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much, y'all. Have a great week.